Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to your Farming Simulator 15 map spotlight. Today we are looking at Churn Farm, which, oops, um, basically it's an LS uh, 2011 map, I know it says FS, but Landward Shaft Simulator, you know, I'm going to call it LS, because a lot of the websites I see use, use LS. Um, it's from LS 2011. Made by Tommy23, uh, converted, edited, and remixed with some improvements. Set in Western Wales, uh, and do, 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 small John Deere dealership is closed. Blah, 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 blah. This map, you will need chop straw and animation map trigger for it to work properly. Also, um, completely unrelated from the map, hopefully, I fixed the color issues. I found the problem, I found what could have been the problem. And I think I might have sorted that. If not, I'm going to be very angry. So, normally I'd get a pickup, but today I've decided to go with a more British option. And we're going to take the Land Rover 109 in Army Green. And uh, let's just jump into it over here at the shop. So, let's have a look around here very quickly. Those models aren't very good, but they do kind of fit in with the John Deere dealership. Um, part of me wants to see this um, this model improved upon and made into like a proper baler. And that's a John Deere cultivator. Mind you, there is, a, there is actually a John Deere dealership near me, and they tend not to have their stuff hidden away in a shape. Or a big John Deere sign like that, yeah. Um, I gotta say, it doesn't fit with the John Deere dealership I've seen. The. Okay, straight away I see two things. Number one, fields are not viable. Number two, and this is slightly more egregious, the PDA map is. It doesn't match. Also, the roads are ridiculously wide. If I just turn in. Yeah, the, this map kind of something is off here. I, the scale of this Land Rover is silly, or the scale of literally everything in this map is increased. I'm thinking it's potentially the latter, and I'm getting frame rate issues coming up here. What's causing these issues? Okay, 60, 60, 60, 60. The game just decided it wanted to be 30 for a minute. Okay. So here you have... I just kind of randomly found here. You've got your cows and then a modding shed. And a blue milk robot, which I didn't know you could take the color off. Uh, it looks like there is a water modding effect. Or the looks of one at least. It looks like your sheep might be in there, possibly. Uh, feeding trough. Jeep can't get up here, but I sure as hell can. Nice bit of a hay shed in here, so you can store your bales. It's actually well thought out, to be quite honest. Uh, what's over here? Uh, this must be the feeding shed for the cattle, I guess. So in here you got a couple of extra models, so let's try and reverse in. There we go. So in here you have... Yeah, this is your cow feeding shed, because there's the cow... ...majig. You have a John Deere skid steer. Or Gale. Could be... Either or, really, I guess. You got your John Deere 348 baler, which... I would love to see a baler like this being put into the game properly, not like the Polish one that I've used in the past. And a 2850C. Nice models there, I must admit. Um, let's actually go find the cell points real quick. Come to think of it, can I just animation map trigger my way out? No! I would have thought that would be animation map trigger. Oh well. I can get out through here at least. Um, 
Ähm so. Oh, all the cell points were at the core. That's actually kind of fine. I'm still kind of confused by the scale of this map. It's either the Land Rover or the map itself that has just a funky scale to it. I'm kind of stuck trying to decide which is which, because this Land Rover should take up about half the roads, but it doesn't. And I know it sounds really off, but funky. I kind of... I like this Land Rover, but the sounds are... not great. I'm gonna be honest, the sounds could do with some improvements. Uh, the PJ map is slightly off. Which annoys me, I think I mentioned that already. Uh, but it is just really an annoyance because you think you're in one place and you're actually about four, yard, four, um, four or five meters over to one side. And oh, it's the same issue that I've seen with the other maps. The closer to the center of the PDA map you are, the more correct it is. It means it's possibly stretched in the tiniest little bit. Also, I do have my wheel plug in at the moment, so it's causing a, a bit of a steering to one side issue. So here is the grain mill. I'm just going to very quickly centre my wheel. Here's the grain mill. It's not actually centred, is it? There we go. <laughs> and here you can sell, if I go to this screen here, grain mill. Everything but barley, uh, beet potatoes and sugar bean wood chips really. You can also sell, I should mention, this does have multi-fruit so you will require a multi-fruit mod. Uh, it's got oat, rye and sunflowers. And, oh. So you, yeah, you've got an extra few crops on this map. No collision on the hedges, which for some reason are based on pine trees. Um, I've never seen a hedge like that in my life, but okay. I mean, if I had to say something positive about the complete lack of collisions on the hedges it's, and the weird width the roads are, it's um, there's your wool settlement by the way. Is that this place is probably quite horseplay friendly, so. Uh, here's your... Stop! Here's your sugar beet cell point, your potato cell point. Lovely, lovely, lovely. So this is all of the port, and you do... You probably don't want to be falling off. Yeah, you probably don't want to be falling off that anytime soon. For some reason, there's a... An unused... Tunnel down there. I guess it's supposed to be a sewage pipe or something. I'm not quite sure. And the more I look at these compared to the Land Rover, the more I realise that it's actually the roads and, and stuff like that that have funky, funky uh, no, scaling. I forgot that word for a moment. So here is your the second of the many, many cell points here at the uh, Oh this has dynamic crew plane. Um I can tell that straight away. Or at least I would hope so considering the way that it's it's built. So this is the granary. Wrong button. And at the port granary you can sell wheat, barley, canola, corn, oat, rye and sunflower. Which means that up here you're going to have the other biomass eating plant up here. Let's see. Yes, it's got this one that I like. So, whoa. Um, up on the side. So you can, you just dump your um, wood chips in here and it'll sell them off. And burn them and I'm stuck. There we go. I'm free. You got a... Uh, Ooh, you've got a log cell point here. 
and possibly some guns over here maybe. Nope. Okay, so let's move on very swiftly. There's still some snow points I haven't looked at. And as usual we get to the start of vehicles at the end. The reason I bought the Land Rover is because it can stand out. What's in here? This is one of your yards. So we got potatoes and sugar beet storage. As well as storage for barley, canola, corn and um, wheat. There is no multi-silo in this map. Each silo has its own load and unload points uh, per, on a per crop basis, so that's something you will need to look out for, especially if you're trying to post play, as you can see there. Each silo has its own unloader, unloading a thing to So, where am I going? I'm going around this road, okay. Um, are those beets planted? Those are beets planted. So I would expect to see a sugar beet harvester considering you own all the fields. And um, ideally I want to see the rootster. The Grimmer rootster. I mean, because th this is the way I look at it. And I guess I'm in a position where I can criticize stuff like this in a way. Um, I'm just going to hold that thought for a moment because we've reached the brewery. Or I pressed the wrong button again. You can sell wheat, barley and corn. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm in a position where I can criticise and it's not me being cynical and never being happy. Also, for some reason, the speed limit signs are all over the place here. Um, it's not me being cynical, it's me just having an opinion and trying to get voicing it. And um, what with me making the map, which there is progress, is maybe the goal. Um, I'm just going to hold up here. If you're going to put a crop in from the start, for example, sugar beet or potatoes, um, yeah, I think it's only responsible that you give the player equipment that, that you, they can use to harvest the same crop. So say you've got a map where all the fields are grass. Give the player decent sized tractor and butterfly mowers and a forage wagon. And maybe a front row. Now that's the way I look at it. If you got uh, Sugar Bee Town, a root stuff. If you got potatoes down, that little one row potato harvest. Anyway, BGA, we got three silage clamps and a weird kind of mix. 20, I'm going to say 2013, but it could be 2011 spec BGA. I never played uh, PS11, so I don't know. For Eon Energy. And over here, there's something... Whoa! I like that. It says Liz Gas. Liz Gas. But, uh... It's an Eon plant. Okay. There is something down here. I can see... There is, um... Ah! The forest area in there. What exactly is down here? Is this just... Like a fueling point down here and a shed. Okay, I believe that be. So let's go to the final cell point tool. Oh, yeah, BJ was the final cell point. Let's call it the, the, the sheep uh, as quickly as I possibly can. So 75 kph. And then we'll get to the star vehicles and... Nice trick there with those reeds. Uh, clip distance is set low so they don't cause lag. However, it does look ridiculous if the reeds are just kind of magically appearing as you drive along. The same with the flowers. I'm um, just looking at them now. They've got low clip distances set so they don't cause lag, but they do 
just randomly appear. Well, not randomly, they just gradually appear as you get closer. There's probably more flowers in here, though. Not just a super. Ooh. There's something in here. This is. Ah! This is where you store the extra crops. See the way there's only three there? It's the, um. Is it oat rye and sunflower? Yeah, oat rye and sunflower you, you can store in there. Um. Which is nice. I guess. Also, one thing I do like is that they put the um, map altar. The map makers put the leaf texture under the deciduous trees only. Which actually makes a lot more sense than having it under evergreens for some reason. Although I don't like the way the road just is up in the end it's there. So here's your sheep. Um, oh, the wool appears in the shed. That's troublesome if you use the old style bonk it with the profi hopper method. Or bonk it with something reasonably light method of moving the wool. But uh, I guess it works. So let's have a look at the starter vehicles now. You start off with a Hurleyman H488, a, oop, an Agrostar 661, a T6, a Puma, a Lamborghini, and a, now you're getting a bit silly with the starter vehicles, I must admit. The Deutsch 7250, which is just uh, really silly for a starter vehicle. Front loader for the T6, which is fine. A uh, manure fork, a TC5, which is a fine harvester to start off with. And uh, header for the TC5, Rootster. Didn't actually spot the. I did go into the starter vehicles before just to check if there was a pickup and there wasn't. Didn't spot the Rootster. Well done. I was actually going to go. I actually specifically mentioned the Rootster because I didn't expect them to have it. Um, this is somebody who clearly has the same ideas in terms of starter vehicles as me. Although, personally, I would have just stuck with the Hurleyman, the Agrostar, and the T6. Um, for challenge reasons. Brantner E8041, Agriliner uh, 302, Vogel Terra Disc 220 horsepower. Ah, that's why you've got the bigger harvesters because you got a big cultivator. Uh, Very Master Vaderstad Rapid, Vaderstad Tempo. Offering options, I approve. Uh, sprayer, pedal spreader, yes. Manure spreader, slurry spreader. Uh, Three seven hundred kilowatts, two thousand kilowatts. Um, I didn't mention this. This map does have this map does have soil mod in it. So, you know, what? I was going to complain about the vehicles because I thought the um, inclusion of the larger stuff was a bit silly. But seeing the starter equipment in its in in full, because normally I just kind of shuffle through real quick to see if there's a, a pickup. Seeing the starter equipment in full, yeah. I, I'm fine with it. It's a good map. I'd prefer to see the fields be viable. Um, but the, the issue with oddly shaped fields, like this map has, if you look at it, they're not square, is the giants aren't very good. Field 4, you would have to have as a starter field. Because it's too small. <laughs> um... I'm not going to complain about this map. Yes, it would be nice if the fields were viable. Yes, there's a few other things that could be done with it. You could throw in some Marhu stuff, but honestly, this works perfectly. It will work perfectly for pretty much any reason. And it's a nice challenge with soil modding. So, yeah, links in the description below. Um, Make sure you have the, the um, required mods and recommended mods and all that kind of stuff. I'm going to leave it here. Thank you all very much for watching. Until next time, stay safe and goodbye.